Abbott and Costello program, starring Bud Abbott and Lou Costello, brought to you by Camel, the cigarette of costlier, properly aged tobaccos. The Abbott and Costello program, with the music of Carl Hoff and his orchestra, our singing star, Amy Arnell, and spotlighting that chunky, chubby little cherub, who, when caught tying a handkerchief across his Uncle Artie Stebbins' nose, because he heard him say he might have to blow in a hurry, calmly said, I'm a bad... Costello, Costello, what is this all about? Get ready, come here. Hey, Lou, oh no, now listen. What's the idea? Come here, take it easy. Take it. Put that gun down. Okay. What's the idea of coming in here with that 10-gallon hat and that cowboy outfit on? Have you heard of it? No. I just been made sure from North Hollywood. And look at that big gun I got to go with the outfit. No kidding. Step aside, Abbott, and I'll show you how it shoots. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a gun is that? That's a horse pistol. <laughs> I raised it from a coat. Oh, come on. This is the most absurd thing I've ever heard of. You a sheriff. Yeah, me a sheriff, Abbott. I'm going to incarcerate every desperado. I'm going to apprehend every brigand. And when I get them into the bus deal, I'm going to give them 20 strokes with the bus to Motto. What did you say? Did I say something dirty? <laughs> ah, no. Costello, why do you always try to use big words? Because I'm educated. What do you think I am? A J-U-R-K? Uh, all right, look, forget about it. I still, I still can't understand why they ever made you the sheriff. You know, a sheriff has to be a brave man. Now, what have you ever done? What have I ever done? Yes. Why, one time I went out all by myself to capture 5,000 savage Indians. And then he went on the warpath. How many Indians? There was 1,000 bloodthirsty Indians. Uh, uh, how many Indians? I was chasing 100 shrieking, howling men. Uh, how many so Indians? So I walked up to the old squaw and bought a blanket. <laughs> I bought a blanket in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh, man, I, I thought so, Costello. What a sheriff. Why, you haven't even got a horse. Oh, I got a horse, Abbott. He's oh, my pal. Oh, I yeah. eat with my horse. I drink with my horse. I even sleep with my horse. Why do you sleep with your horse? I have to. It's his blanket. <laughs> Horses love me, Abbott. What do you mean? When I was a little boy, horses would come up and rub their necks against me. People used to say... Look at the horse's neck, Costello. <laughs> oh, talk sense, will you please? Does that sound how I read it? Never mind. Listen, please. <laughs> yes, that's just the way it sounds. Hey, Abbott, there's my horse standing outside over there. Isn't he a beauty? Beauty? Why, that horse has only, only three legs. He only has one leg in front. I know, but it's in the middle, ain't it? Now, uh, <laughs> you go... <laughs> Take that horse back to the man you bought it from. Okay, but Crosby won't like it. Look, <laughs> Costello, you don't know the first thing. You don't know the duties of a sheriff. Listen, I'm going to paint you a picture of just what a real sheriff has to go through. Okay. Now, suppose you're sitting in the Red Dog Cafe eating breakfast. What am I eating? I... Oh, a bowl of oatmeal. What's the difference? Then it ain't me. Uh, why not? I eat Wheaties. Look, Costello, please. You're the sheriff. You're a man who is ready for anything. I'm ready for a bowl of Wheaties. Uh, will you forget the Wheaties? But my mother always lets me have Wheaties. Well, forget your mother. First, I can't have Wheaties, and now he wants me to forget my mother. I right, never mind that. My poor old wire-haired... What? My poor white-haired mother. All right, well, read it. <laughs> She gave me my name, Louis M. Costello. What does the M stand for? Mink. She wanted a fur coat that year. No, well, <laughs> will you cut it out, please? I'm trying to tell you your duties as a sheriff. Now listen to me, will you please? <laughs> All right, put those guns down. <laughs> will you listen to me, please? I'll give you your duty. There you are, sitting in the Red Dog Cafe, eating your bowl of Wheaties. Can I have strawberries on my Wheaties? All right, all right. You can have strawberries. Thank you. And suddenly the door opens. Yeah. The door opens. A man rushes in and says, I've struck gold. Yeah. I've got a bonanza. Cancel the strawberries. What for? I'll have sliced bonanzas. No, no, no. <laughs> Will you stop interrupting? Suddenly another man dashes into the cafe and yells, Lady, Come. lady! Will you listen to me? I'm trying to show you your duty. Now get He's with it. He's laughing at my sliced bananas. Never mind that. You listen to me. Suddenly another man dashes into the cafe and yells, Come quick, Sheriff. 
The Indians have captured Harriet Huckleberry. Mm -hmm. You run to your horse and you say, Oh, pal, we've got to rescue Harriet. Yeah. She puts her wet nose in your hand. And... Oh, Miss Huckleberry. And no, no, the horse. <laughs> now, with a leap, you land securely in the saddle. Your face is stern. Your grip is sure. Your clutch is firm. How's my transmission? Okay. And when you cut it out, <laughs> quickly you mount your horse and tear up the street. Tear up the street? What I got? A plow horse? Now, when you quit interrupting, you ride out across the prairie. You ride for hours and hours on end. That sounds logical. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, all right, all right, all right. You ride for days and days until the seat of your trousers is worn thin. Then, there you are. I knew I'd come through. <laughs> Finally, you discover, you discover the Indians' camp. So what? The Indians discover you. So what? They start shooting arrows at you. So what? Don't be a coward. <laughs> Don't be a coward. The Indians will soon run out of ammunition. Their arrows, their arrows are getting a little scanty. <laughs> Oh, oh. What was that? I got a little scanty in my panty. <laughs> After hours of fighting, you elude the Indians and reach Harriet Huckleberry. You stink up and loosen the ties that bind her. I quit. Yeah, you quit. Why? I don't know how to untie a girdle. No, 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 no. You untie the ropes. With a sigh of gratitude, she falls into your arms. She looks in your eyes and says, "My hero, you have saved my life. Mm -hmm. From now on, I am your slave. Mm -hmm. Your very wish will be my command. Tell mm -hmm. me." Tell me, how can I save you? Mm -hmm. And what do you say? Bring me a bowl of Wheaties. Ah, oh, nuts! Huh? I said nuts. That's good, too. What's good? Wheaties with nuts. Ah, oh, what's good? <laughs> For camel fans everywhere, Carl Hoff and the orchestra play. Who's sorry now? <laughs> You've been sheriff in this town for two weeks and you haven't done a thing to preserve law and order. Oh, yes, I have, haven't I? I just captured a dangerous character. There he is in that first cell. Let me out of here. I'll never do it again, I promise. I'll never do it again. I'll never do it again. Who is he? He's the fellow that wrote Chickory Chick. <laughs> He's still singing. God answer that phone. Yes, yes, office. Sheriff Costello, sing it. Somebody put water in my gun. Do you catch bad men? <laughs> yes, I do. Well, catch one for me. I'm lonesome. <laughs> well, I got everything under control, Abbott. I think I'll sit back and smoke a camel cigarette. All right, here's a match. I'll light it for you. Abbott, I'm a sheriff. None of them sissy matches for me. I light my camel with my gun. Wait a minute, you dope. You'll shoot your nose off. It's easy if you know how to watch. <laughs> Anyhow. Stop this, silly Miss Costello. <laughs> Why don't you clean up this office? How can you stand all these flies in here? Well, I've got an agreement with the flies. They don't solve crimes and I don't walk on a ceiling. Come in. Hello, boys. Oh, hello, Miss Mucho. Hello, Bessie. What can I do for you? I just came over to congratulate you on being elected sheriff of North Hollywood. My. <laughs> You look so dashing in that ten gallon heart and that shiny barge. Uh, did you say s barge? Yeah, Abby, she's talking about the star. I got pinned on my boost. <laughs> my, but you're a broad little one. 
I'll bet you'll capture all the gamblers and donder is bonded. Yes, I'm going after all the creep shooters and pick pookets. <laughs> and badminton players. I wish you'd keep an eye on my bungalow. There's a nasty mob. <laughs> into my boudoir through the window saws. Ah, a pooping Tom, huh? <laughs> Tom, huh? Well, well, I'll take care of him. I'll take care of him, Miss Mousseau. I know you will. And um, a brawl brick to Moonlick Nick to you. And a big pile of brown bricks to you, too. <laughs> Gee, she's a swell girl, Costello. Did you ever have a date with her? Yeah, just once, Abbott, but she ain't any fun. What do you mean? Well, we drove all the way down to the beach of Santa Monica yes. to watch the moonlight rippling on the ocean waves. I was awfully disappointed. Why? All she wanted to do was neck. Why do the writers make me read stuff like this? <laughs> Sheriff Costello speaking. Sheriff, my wife is very beautiful. She's five foot two. She has big blue eyes and a gorgeous figure. Yes? What is it worth for you to follow her day and night? Will you take $200 in my new car? <laughs> How do you like that, Abbott? He hung up on me. Put on, laddies. Uh, well, well, it's Scotty Brown. I've come here to ask the assistance of Sheriff Costello to stop a vicious rumor. Why, what's the trouble, Scotty? Well, yesterday morning the word got around that my little son Angus had swallowed a 50-cent piece, and now 500 of my Scotch friends are all trying to adopt him. <laughs> uh, see what you can do about it, laddie. I'm in a hurry to get home. And what's your hurry? Well, I've got to get my wife's teeth home to her. Oh, you've been to the dentist? No, laddie. I always take her teeth when I leave the house so she can't eat between meals. Well, good day. <laughs> well, never mind him, Costello. Hey, look. A big limousine just pulled up in front. It must be somebody important. Now, fix yourself up here. Put on your 10-gallon hat. Then, uh, wait a minute. Where's your badge? I had it here a minute ago, Abbott. Let me see. My badge. My yeah. badge. Where is it? What did I do with my badge, Abbott? Now, i got to sit down a minute and think where I put it. Uh, I found it. I found it. <laughs> Please let me die with my boots on. I must die with my boots on. Why? I've got to die with my boots on. Why? I got a big hole in my sock. <laughs> Is that the important person that got out of the limousine? No, no, it was a woman. Oh. Wait a minute, now this must be her now. Come in. Oh, hello, Mrs. Niles. Help, help. Someone must save me from a cruel fate worse than death. My life is in peril. Danger lurks around every corner. Help me. Help me. Won't somebody help me? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Costello, something's wrong with Mrs. Niles. I, I don't like the way she's acting. Neither do I. She's getting a lot of laughs. All right. <laughs> Calm yourself, Mrs. Niles. What's the trouble? Kenneth and I have a little ranch out near Cucamonga, and the cattle rustlers have stolen most of my cows, and I expect them around any minute to pinch my calf. Don't be silly. Who'd want to pinch your skinny calf? <laughs> Oh, you think you're so smart, Costello. Kenneth thinks my legs are pretty. Well, many a fish has been caught on bent pins. Right. <laughs> Costello. Remember, you are the sheriff. Oh, I'll never get any help from Costello. What a sheriff. You don't even carry a gun. Oh, yes, I do, Mrs. Niles. I got a big 45 right here in my back pocket. Here, I'll pull it out and show it to you. <laughs> oh, well, my shorts had a hole in them anyway. <laughs> Costello, what are you going to do about those cattle rustlers? Yes, Costello, we've got to get out to Mrs. Niles' ranch right away. Come on, let's get on our horses and be on our way. Okay, let's go. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, Abbott. Wait a minute, whoa. I can't ride this horse, it's so skinny, the ribs are... Mm, excuse me, the ribs are sticking to my leg. Oh, you fool, get off my back. <laughs> And here's Campbell's lovely Amy Arnell with the song story of a teenager. I'm a big girl now. I want to be treated like a big girl now. I'm tired of wearing bobby socks like kiddies do. I'm tired of going to dances in a flat heel shoe. I want the boys to look at me and yell woo-woo. I'm a big girl now. I want to stay out late. I want to be treated like a grown-up day. I'm tired of wearing pigtails and my pinafore lace. 
I want to be a dolly with a pin-up face. I'm tired of holding hands. I want a real embrace. I'm a big girl now. I'm a big girl now. I want to be daring like a big girl now. I'm tired of being babied like a kid of three. I'm tired of having chaperones to follow me. I want to have some secrets in my diary. I'm a big girl now. I'm a big girl now. Never mind, Costello. We've got to find out where the Niles Ranch is. Let's stop in this old mining shack. Well, welcome to the home of Termite and Hermit. <laughs> Why do they call you Termite? I'm a little bug. <laughs> hey, sit down a minute. I'm busy counting my gold. I got bottles and bottles of gold. Ah, you've, you've got, got bottles gold of gold. and bottles? Yes. Oh, yes, yes. You always find gold in quartz. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute, Termite. Ah, I don't see any gold. Oh, I've got it in my pockets. i got pockets full of gold. You want to hear a tinkle? Listen. Uh, I, I didn't hear anything. I'll do it for you again. Yeah, did you hear a tinkle? No, I didn't. How quiet the gold is tonight. <laughs> How quiet this whole thing is. <laughs> Look, Termite, we're looking for Mrs. Niles Cattle Ranch. Oh, the Niles Ranch? Well, little fat boy, it's right over yonder where I'm pointing my finger. <laughs> it's, it's over that black hill. I don't see any black hill. Well, there it is. You see the tip of my finger? Black hill's right there. That isn't a black hill. You need a manicure. <laughs> oh, come on, Costello. We, we've got to get to the Niles Ranch right away. Let's jump on our horses. Okay. Giddy up, horses. Come on. Giddy up, horses. Giddy up. Come on. Giddy up. Sound man, wake up! <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're supposed to be riding horses. All right. So we can ride the old plugs in the engine. Well, here we are at the Niles Ranch. Look who's coming out the gate. It's Melonhead. Ah, uh, Sheriff Melonhead to you. Sheriff Costello, this is my county, and I've got a shiny badge to prove it. Yeah, and you've got a shiny head to match it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell these people that I'm bald? I've seen more hair on Van Johnson's lapel. Uh, <laughs> listen, Costello, I'm the law around here, and if you don't keep your nose out of my business... There'll be trouble. Wait a minute, Melonhead. You're talking to six-gun Costello. Six-gun Costello? Mm -hmm. How come you're only wearing two guns? Six guns makes my pants fall down. <laughs> Wait a minute, Melonhead. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Niles asked us to come out here and, and catch the cattle rustlers. Well, there's $1,000 rewards for the capture of them cattle rustlers, and I'm aiming to get the reward. I'll tell you what I'll do, Melonhead. Yeah? See which one of us is the better man. Let's shoot it out. Okay, that suits me. <laughs> Costello, he shot off your right ear. He shot off your left ear. Costello, why don't you shoot back? I can't see. Why not? My ears were holding my hat up. <laughs> All right, Costello. Now I'll give you a chance to shoot at me. Okay, here I go. <laughs> I caught that bullet between my teeth. I eat bullets for breakfast. <laughs> I caught the second bullet between my teeth. I eat bullets for lunch. Will somebody bring me a bowl of soup for supper? Come on, Costello. Let's go to the ranch house and see Mrs. Niles. Oh, thank heaven you're here. I hope you catch those awful cattle rustlers. I know their leader. It's Cactus Pete. Cactus Pete? Cactus Pete? Why, he's a big, powerful brute of a man. He has big, rippling muscles of steel. Why, Mrs. Niles, his arms are so powerful, he could crush the breath out of a person. Oh. Oh, wait till I get my hat on. I'll go with you. No, no. No, you stay here, Mrs. Niles. We'll bring back Cactus Pete, dead or alive. Let's jump on our horses. Okay. <laughs> the sound man is on the wrong track again. Gee, Costello. It's a tough-looking cow. 
cow town we're coming into. Hey, Abba, here's the yellow dog saloon. Let's go in and see if anybody's seen Cactus Pete. All right, everybody. Come on in for a drink. No, 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 not you, horses. Just the man. <laughs> already. Come on, Costello. We have a duty to perform. <laughs> hey, grab that man and fire that shot. Hurry up. I got him. I got him. Listen, you. What's the idea of shooting that singer? He was singing Ireland must be heaven because your mother came from there. What did he say, Costello? He said, cement mixer, pote, pote. Look, look, Costello, here comes the hostess. Ah, welcome, welcome to the Yellow Dog Saloon, senores. I am Rosita. Yo no tengo vivir más porque tú eres un muchacho muy caballero. Come on over here and kiss your poor old father. <laughs> Aha, you like me, senor, no? Oh, everybody tells me that I, I have more curls than the Lincoln Highway. Yeah, and those detours ain't bad either. <laughs> Castell, I thought we came here to pinch the cattle rustlers. You pinch what you like, and I'll pinch what I like. <laughs> Run for your lives, everybody! Cactus Pete just rolled in the towel! Cactus Pete? Oh, here's my, my boyfriend. <laughs> if he finds me with you, he will kill me. I'm going to hide behind this door. Well, Abbott, the time has come. This is it. This is it. You wait here. Ah, uh, good for you, Costello. For a minute, I thought you were a coward. So you're going after Cactus Pete, eh? No, I'm going behind the door with Rosita. <laughs> Stand where you are, everybody. I am Cactus Pete, the toughest hombre in these parts. <laughs> Costello hit that cuspid off from 25 feet. You think that's good? Watch this. You make fun of me, eh, hombre? Watch this. <laughs> I knew he couldn't top that one of mine. <laughs> Sneak in a floater on me. Quick, Costello. Pull your gun on him, quick. All right, get him up, Cactus Pete. Come on, I'm Sheriff Costello, and I'm arresting you for stealing Mrs. Niles' cattle. You Come are on. very quick on the draw, senor. Oh, I but have short draws, yeah. <laughs> it is a pleasure to have such a beautiful gun pointed at my heart. All my life I have wanted a pearl handle revolver. That is a beauty, senor. Do you mind if I look at it? No, not at all. Here. Thank you. <laughs> you little fat fool. I've got your gun. Now stick him up. <laughs> Give me your money, your watches, your rings. Thank you, senor. And I dare steal, you little stupid sheriff. <laughs> Costello, Costello, why are you laughing? You stole all our money. You stole our jewelry. You even stole your gun. <laughs> yeah, Abbott, but the joke is on him. What do you mean? <laughs> Wait till he finds out that the gun ain't loaded. <laughs> Now hear about Lou with the final word. Well, Costello, you acted pretty stupid with that cattle rustler tonight. I thought you said you knew how to handle a gun. Oh, that was just for the program, Abbott. I'm really an expert with firearms. In fact, to prove it to you, if that gentleman sitting down there in the front row will step up on the stage, I'll shoot an apple off the top of his head. No, no! Anything but that! It's murder! He'll kill us all! Let's go! Wait a minute, wait a minute, you! Come here! Why do you always pick on me? Because you're always trying to show off. I'll bet you don't know the first thing about chasing cattle rustlers. I'll bet you're scared to death of a bull. Oh, no, I'm not. One time I was standing face to face with a charging bull. There he was, breathing fire, snorting and pawing the ground. Everybody was scared to death. But with one little word, I stopped that ferocious bull in its tracks. You stopped that bull in its tracks with one word? Mm hmm What was it? <laughs> Good night, folks. Good night, everybody in Patterson. Tune in next week for another great Abbott and Costello show brought to you by Camel Cigarettes. And remember, try camels in your T-Zone. See if they don't suit your taste, your throat, to a T. C-A-M-E-L. 